Did you know that the resonance of a dark matter crystal channels energy from another universe? No? You stupid ignorant cattle, go read a book. Quick thoughts, Agents of Mayhem. Saints Row is one of my favorite franchises to debut in the last console generation, so when developer Volition announced a new franchise that's more of a spin-off than a sequel, I was still excited given their track record. And yet, while Agents of Mayhem ups the ante in one specific and significant component, in almost every other, it feels like a baffling step back compared to the track record of its parent series. The one edge I want to make clear for this over Saints Row, and its best feature overall, is that the battle and character swapping systems they've touted so much I found to be a blast. The dozen or so playable agents feel genuinely very distinct in their advantages and disadvantages, meaning you're likely going to find personal favorites, those in my case being the unhinged soccer fan red card and returning Saints Row players Gat and Kingpin. They control well in battle, and their special moves are flashy and satisfying, especially many of their mayhem super moves. The fact that swapping between them is a must due to an active agents regenerating health, combined with many difficulty levels to choose between, also means I often hit a good sweet spot in challenge without being too frustrating. An increased reliance on leveling up, customizable upgrades, equipment enhancements, and many loot drops for additional abilities, skins, and vehicles also gives a nice feeling of constant reward. Unfortunately, the world, story, and cast don't fare as well. The plot generally takes a simplified and episodic approach to dealing with one villain at a time, the playable agents are barely integrated into the main story outside of their own side missions, and the humor misses way more often than Saints Row did. What could Legion be doing at the planetarium? They're at war with your aim. Sure, Saints Row 3 and 4 may have gone balls to the wall in terms of being outlandish, but they still had more concrete stories I was interested in following and a sense of camaraderie among its cast. This has neither. Most of the mission design is super repetitive too. Scan an area, play a hacking minigame, shoot up some guys, drive to the next area, rinse and repeat. And jeez, does this game rely on these underground layers too much. In both main and side missions, you'll be tasked with clearing out multiple rooms of these to progress, but they recycle the same handful of rooms over and over. Like. Was it, was this game rushed? What happened? This could be easier to forgive if the open world exploration was a blast, but it's also below average. Let's make this pretty, neon, futuristic version of Soul, but give it little overall visual diversity and barely anything interesting to do outside of missions. Remember those creative and instantly useful collectibles hidden in Saints Row games? Upgrade shards and occasional loot boxes are all you'll find if you go searching. Remember the crazy, original, and generally great diversions like mayhem and insurance fraud? Here you're just doing time trials, hostage rescues, vehicle delivery, and vehicle takedowns over and over and over here. How do you go from some of the most over-the-top and inventive side activities in gaming to some of the most bland and uninspired ones, especially when Volition said themselves that this is full-on emulating a cheesy Saturday morning cartoon. This is why I can't give this game a more decent rating or full-on recommendation. It has a lot of good fundamentals, some even better than Saints Row, but content-wise it feels full of plenty to do but little to get you really invested. I was lucky enough to not encounter much in the way of bugs or technical errors, but the game did outright crash the steam once on me, and the on-call vehicle system is not as precise as they clearly like it to be. Come on, try again. Alright, despite everything I've just said, I've still had a good amount of enjoyment out of this game, due in no small part to the upgrade and battle systems. It also looks nice, though with my PC copy I turned that light cell shaded effect right off. You can commit fully to it like Borderlands or don't do it at all. It's not often that a game is this heavily flawed but one I still want to come back to, so it's kind of an odd duck personally. There's a lot here that could so easily be improved upon in a sequel now that they've established a foundation, but given the reviews, fan reactions from the moment the game was announced, and the tepid sounding sales, at least in the UK, I think it's more likely that Volition will return to Savatory with the new Saints Row, or start fresh again with whatever their next game is. This is a textbook example of a good game to rent or buy at a discount, but overall, it's disappointing. Agents of Mayhem gets a 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, consider giving a like, a comment, or subscribing for more. Also, check out my podcast sketch, Watch Play, and my Let's Play channel.